In this tutorial, we're going to walk you through how to step up your chat game and add images in with the chat functionality. Here you'll see from my home screen a list of conversations. I've already started these, but now I'd like to continue my messages with Jenny. We were talking about cars, but she hasn't responded. I can send her a message that's just text by typing it into the message input and hitting send. I did want to show her another car I found. I can type in my message. I can hit this camera icon, which is set to open a modal. I click on the image picker, and then I can add in the other car that I'd like to show her. I select, select to use this, and then when I hit the send message button, it will send her the message and the image. So let's talk how to do this in the editor. This tutorial will not walk you through a full setup of chat functionality. We do have a video that will walk you through how to do that. I'm going to show you how you can arrange your messages list, the back and forth communication to include that image. First, we're going to add a new screen. You're going to hit the miscellaneous and use the chat template that's already set for you. From this screen, you're going to need to make sure that you link your home screen or your conversation uh, conversations list to that chat template. Again, if you watch the tutorial on chat, you'll see exactly how to do that. From this list, you're going to tell it what it is. This is a list of messages, and it's a messages of the current conversation messages because we're chatting just with those individuals. Let's look at the components of this message list. We have a rectangle, and I'm going to extend that rectangle to accommodate our image. You can choose to make this whatever size you want this message block to be. I'm going to move this text back under it where we include the full name and creator date. From here, I'm going to edit this to be the actual message, current messages, message text, and of course this information is the current message, full name of the sender, and the message uh, send time, the created date. Now we need to include our image in here. We're going to use the add component, we're going to pick an, the image component, and you're going to size this to however you want that to be set up. You can have it here. You can have it more rectangular. I sort of like it under the text personally. So we just have to make a few more accommodations in order to have it where we want it. If you do choose to have your image text and your image side by side, make sure that you check your box here and you move it smaller so it is outside of the pane of your image component. The other big aspect here that we need to do is set this image component to sometimes visible. So we are going to note that it is from our database and it's going to be a message image. Then we're going to click the three buttons and change the visibility. This will sometimes be visible if the current message message image is not equal to empty. So if it's empty, don't show it. If there's a message image, then show that image. And we click done. Great, so this list is set up now to include your messages with their images. The other aspect we need to talk about though is this piece where you send the message and how do you set that up? You'll see in the version that I created, I moved the text, the message input box and I set next to it an icon for camera and the send icon. You can keep it within here, but the message does get long, it will overpower it. So all I simply did was select the message input box, I moved it over, I shrank it just a bit, and I set it to the side. I then took the image for the icon to send and moved it over to this side. You'll then wanna add a new icon using the component. 
and you'll make this one your camera. So you can pick any of these. I specifically picked that one, and then I set my colors. And again, you can play with the sizing and the sh uh, shapes of these so that you're getting them exactly where you want them. From here, I put a link on this camera action to a new screen. And I made this screen a modal pop-up. It's important that you make sure when you use a modal that you set this transition to modal from this modal screen, I removed this and I added a new image component called Image Picker. This is going to allow your user to pick an image from their phone or their computer. And then I have simply set my buttons aside. If you want that image picker to be a little bigger, you could certainly adjust the size of your rectangle and move the items around as you choose. From here, I have my OK button, which I changed to use or submit or any variety that you would like. And I have this linking back to my, my uh, messages screen. And the cancel button is set to link back as well, or you'll need to add the action to link it back as well. The last thing we need to talk about is setting up how to send this message. Again, this will be covered fully in the chat tutorial, but you're going to click on the icon for the send. You're going to add an action to create your message. And your message text here is going to come from the form input that's been labeled as the message text input. The conversation is the current conversation. The sender is going to be the logged in user. And the message item will be here, will be form inputs, all screens, screen image picker. And that is how you actually select, it knows to send that image. That is how you add a image into a chat. Make sure that you keep these items here at the bottom as a group so that you ensure that they stay together because of the visibility rules here. So this is a group and then you want to make sure that that is fixed to the bottom so that it will stay at the bottom of the screen as well. Hope this was helpful. Thank you.